What's up guys, Crazy Black 108 here and I'm back with another video. Today guys, I'm gonna take a look at another D Rose shoe that I um, beat into the, the living ground. The living ground, the the, the I don't even know. Um, but it's another Rose shoe and it's another part of the D Rose Sneaker Challenge for the month of October. So uh, let's get into it. So in this box, classic Adidas box, right? Uh, I'm gonna see if y'all caught the trend yet of what what, the, what I've been doing, but maybe 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 it's maybe it's been missed on people, maybe it's not. But today we're gonna be looking at none other than the Rose or Adi Zero Rose Two in this home colorway, um, which is another one of my favorite colorways of a Rose model, and this is another one that I beat the living crap out of, as you guys can see and tell. Um, everything from the toe box to the paint coming off on the on the midsole to where you can see where it's gotten you know the the sprint web is bled into the the leather here you know the the strap is you know it's it, it just it's not the best of shape but i mean again where your kicks right um and this is another thing too where for me i'm kind of going to show you guys just a look at how these shoes have um, held up over time again this is another rose shoe that i used originally to play indoors with but i really didn't like the rose 2 on indoor courts i just felt like they didn't grip well enough for me and i just felt like they the traction pattern just didn't work um outdoors is a different story but indoors did not like it i um ended up switching to play and i kept on playing in my crazy lights until the 2.5s came out and then i even went back to the 1.5s but if you want to see on this traction you know one of the big things about the twos is that this part right here this is meant to be like lava which is meant to be exposed to like derek's uh game um and that's kind of like was a storytelling part of the traction i just feel like this didn't grip really well um this pivot point worked well i mean ish and you know here this is cool but like but besides that 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 was about it um this shoe also holds a lot of special memories for me because again uh besides this shoe being really being up this was also my very first rose shoe review i ever did on uh youtube um so this shoe was the first one I did my review on that started me down this path uh, all those years ago. Um, so that's kind of cool and neat. Uh, when you look at both of these, you can see, that, you know, my favorite thing about looking at shoes that you play in often, and you like really playing and worn out, is you can really see where your high wear areas are. So if you look here on this traction on the outsole, okay, you can see the pivot points, one is one spot, right? But you can also see just up here on my forefoot, I'm just a heavy forefoot player. Um, and these, uh, you know, I said I didn't play much indoors in them, right? Because I didn't like them indoors. But now outdoors, outdoors, this was my shoe. I hooped in these outdoors heavy. Um, but they were so good for outdoors just because, I don't know, they, you know, when you get a pair of Rose 2, you know, off rip, there's a lot of heavy padding here in the, in the uh, ankle, which is great. This sprint frame here on the back was nice. It's really big, and the three stripes, how they wrapped it on there was also very neat this lazing structure locked down around my foot pretty decently and i felt pretty secure on them even though these were more of like a low cut uh well there is a low version of this shoe but this is more like the mid a mid cut uh, so that's one thing i love the sprint web it was super breathable super nice and it was cool seeing the transition from the crazy lights to this and how they end up doing that and the technology with it the insoles which i'm going to be brave enough to take out of here because ah still all in one piece this is one of the thicker adidas insoles i talk about um so you can see the just the more uh additional padding in there super awesome and surprisingly these still you can still kind of see this stuff here on the insole where you know it says the different cities and towns so it says you know los angeles canceled miami canceled boston canceled uh chicago clear for takeoff uh denver canceled What's that one say? That's uh, Charlotte, Oklahoma, New York. All these flights are canceled, but you know Chicago's clear for takeoff, which is the whole uh, thing that was going with it. That you know, once Derrick Rose comes into your town, it doesn't matter what you guys thought you were doing. It's you know, all flights are canceled because the only one taking off and winning that game is going to be him. Uh, so that was a cool storytelling bit uh, that Robbie Fuller put into the design of these shoes, which I really thought was dope. Um, there's you know, they had the shirts that said "All flights canceled." I probably still have that shirt somewhere. Um, I'd have to go digging for it though. Uh, both insoles, you know, say that on there. And then on here, you can see just, it's super worn out on this one, but it used to, you know, have the signature there and say Derek Rose. Thankfully so though, on this one, it's still there for the most part, but you can see still that some of that paint 
and stuff has worn off on there, uh, unfortunately. But it's still super cool kind of see. The tongue on here used to be th uh, a little bit thicker, but it really would fit around nicely. And it fit around nice too with the uh, speed wraps as well. And you know, I just have really fond memories of this shoe. Uh, I hope to see the Rose 2s get retro one day. Um, it looks like they're retro in the Rose 4s next year. Uh, I'm not going to stay stateside. Stateside, maybe. But there looks like the black and red. The Brenda's, the original away colorway, and then the Boardwalk's supposed to get retroed, um, at least overseas. I'd love to see them come here, but, you know, I'm not going to hold my breath. Uh, but they also already did a Rose 4 retro um, a year or so ago in China as a part of the... Um, um, Oh, I'm forgetting the name of it right now, but it was a part of, you know, one of the, um, you'll, you'll see a review on a Rose 10 later, but it was like a Rose 9 as well that I had that was like that. Um, and the, the name for the, that series of shoes I've done with this particular designer is just escaping me because a particular designer would, you know, choose the colorways that they would do that with. But, um, yeah, so the Rose 2, guys, you know, it's one of my, you know, fond memories of shoes. I really like, you know, how the tongue, it also has the all flights canceled there, too. That's dope. Um, having the one for his jersey number right there is cool as well too. Derek always talks about how you know he liked a clean toe, and these shoes still. This is the year after he won MVP. These shoes still retail for 110, um, and it was just nice uh, having this just this dope colorway. Well, something else I like too is that they have this little outrigger here on the forefoot um, that help you know if you know if you're gonna roll your ankle to roll you back inwards, which is nice. Um, and they had the little separation here too uh, with the. Um, with the midsole from from the sprint frame that kind of was meant to help you give a little more better carry from heel to forefoot transition in terms of like transitioning energy. Um, or that's like the the marketing word of how it puts. But as far as I remember in terms of what it did, it just made, gave, it did give it a nice, you know, uh, I felt like it was a nice flex point somewhat in the shoe a little bit there uh, to really kind of feel the springiness of the shoe. But uh, yeah, there also used to be something on the fourth. Here it's all rubbed off because again, you can see where my high rare areas are again but right here i used to say adi zero i'm, I'm pretty positive um but i could be mistaken but you know i look at some of my other like still dead stock pairs or close to dead stock pairs because they're not dead stock they've been worn um but better condition pairs of like the rose two i have two pairs of rose two aways that are in good condition both of which i bought recently or recently as in like the last like three years um and yeah just a really awesome shoe fond memories in it uh, and the fond memories too of the this was the lockout year, and so the first game that Derek played in these was against the Lakers in the L Train colorway, and you know the Rose left Rose and Lane Rose good, the Bulls win, you know the goals go up with uh, with like I can't remember how many seconds was left in the game, but it was against uh, Kobe and the Lakers, and you know just fond memories of that Christmas day. Um, so it was a good day. So yeah, uh, I want to thank you guys for uh, watching this review. I'll be back again tomorrow for our D Rose review. Um, anyone's guess as to what it will be? I don't know. Someone, you know, maybe y'all pick up on the trend. Maybe you haven't, but we'll see. Uh, until then, guys, peace. Have a good rest of your evening, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.